Well, it's finally happened. Gran Turismo Sport Closed Beta is finally out to some lucky few Americans, and luckily, I'm one of those lucky few. I don't know what percentage of the total people who signed up actually ended up getting in, but there still seems to be quite a few people who have it, but luckily, I'm one of the few who did, so I figured I'd go ahead and get my first impressions. To start off, well, just look at it. It's pretty. It's possibly the prettiest racing game I've ever seen. Drive Club looks real nice, but I think this actually looks better. Drive Club for a long time was considered to be the best looking racing game, but this is just a beta, I think all in all, already looks better. Granted, I've done some laps for a Nürburgring. I didn't get into the online races kind of annoyingly, but that looks kind of different i think the final version of that will look better but you have to kind of forgive them for that because nurburgring is a huge track and this is a closed beta so it probably isn't completely done i'm honestly surprised that the, the whole nurburgring is actually in this i would have figured they'd have like gpd or gpf or something but i really wasn't expecting the whole one it's pretty cool to race on it and well speaking of tracks there's this too bristol motor uh, Northern Isle. This is Bristol Motor Speedway. There's really no no trying to cover it up. This is almost an exact replica of Bristol Motor Speedway, which is pretty cotton picking awesome. And well, I'm showing this as the background because this is a comparison of three different group three cars around here. And another thing to report, Finally, Gran Turismo has gotten down the balance of power. The cars are actually pretty equal now. It's brilliant. The three group three cars I tested around here were all within one tenth of a second. Granted, it's only 14 and a half second laps, but still, that's a whole heck of a heat closer than GT6. It finally got that right. Granted, I think the best group three car is a little bit overpowered, but again, it's a closed beta. You can't really fault them for not getting one right out of the many there are. The, if you were lucky enough to get the Mercedes AMG Group 3, that seems to be the best one. But through the three that I have, the Jaguar, the Corvette, and the uh, BMW, then those are pretty equal. Any of those will work compared to the other. I personally like the Corvette best because that's the one I got first, but all of them are pretty good. Another note, speaking of how the game drives, well, it drives like Gran Turismo. It's, I guess some people say it's arcadey, but I've never played a full-on 100% simulator that no one denies as a simulator. So to me, GT games are still the best simulator gra game. Granted, you can change some settings around and make them arcade, like Dirty Nerds Racing League or, or Dirty NASCAR, stuff like that. But for when you want the game to be simulation, to me, it feels still simulation. I mean, just for this, for example, it's pretty much how you would run a short track. It's fast in, sl slow through the middle, fast out. It's not like a... Uh, arcade game where you like wall ride or you don't have to slow down on a short track or something like that there's a legitimate skill even for an oval which seems to be a pretty good simulator in my opinion and another thing to talk about how it does simulation i'd say even the car sounds are well simulated now that's one of the pet peeves of grand turismo games too is that they didn't really get the car sounds too right Granted, some of them sounded really incredibly awesome, and people should probably get over that they can't get all of the 1,200 whatever cars, right? But, as of this game has still quite a few cars, even for beta, I think it has like 30 or so unlocked. Unluckily, I didn't get it to wave 2, so I only have like 6 unlocked, but still, even for what there is, they all sound good to me. All the ones that I've driven sound great, and I think all the ones in the videos have sound good too. For those of y'all who haven't seen other GT Sport videos, then definitely watch other GT Sport videos if you don't have it, because there's quite a few people who got it in the first wave who's broadcast too, and then you can see all those times. And, well, 
I'll go ahead in a bit. Again, I can't really do it to where it's live feed and then me talking into it because my internet can't handle a microphone. But it this is still much better than Gran Turismo 6 in terms of really ease of everything really. The game feels better, it looks better, it's easier to record, and it's just... This is definitely the next generation. GT6 felt like GT5 2.5, pretty much. The final update to GT5 was like 2.1 something, and G 2.0 was the final big one. GT6 was really a final update to GT5, adding in all the newer cars that didn't get in the game on release because they weren't out yet and they added a few more tracks this feels like a completely new game and it's not even over yet so that's pretty great y'all that's pretty great gt sport i can already tell is gonna be a good game i don't think there's gonna be any worries about that this game is actually gonna be a success gt6 had mixed opinions but i think this all in all is gonna do really good and I can't really think of any one thing to nitpick right now. GT Sport seems to be the real driving simulator. It's finally back. It's not just kind of a uh, hold along until the PS4 version like GT6 was. This is a true game. Granted, it's not going to have all the cars. But think about it. A lot of people say the best Gran Turismo game of all time for its time was Gran Turismo 3. And that had the least cars of any full Gran Turismo game. And a lot of people say it's the best game for the time because when it came out, it was the best looking console game there was. And look at this. I know this kind of sounds like a bit of a big, like, say here, but I think this is possibly a reincarnation of Gran Turismo 3. Which is where I started Gran Turismo games. And now I'm finally back to that point again. Bigger and better. And that's pretty awesome, folks. That's pretty awesome. This isn't just Gran Turismo 5 version 2.5. This is something we've never seen before, folks. Gran Turismo Sport. The real driving simulator. Finally. Finally.